Hello, this is Queen Diambi, Kabatusvi Lachie Mwata of the Bakwalunto people of Kasai and also Queen Mother of the African descendants of Brazil, the African Bantu of Brazil. So I am uh, making this small video to tell you that I am so, so happy that uh, very soon in the month of May, I will be in Angola with uh, some children of Africa from the diaspora, from uh, Brazil, from the UK, from France, from um, the United States and uh, from Portugal, so many people that are really wanting to come to visit uh, Angola. And we will be doing the Sankofa conference and it will be an amazing event. Uh, it is time to work on remembering who we are. Sankofa has a very, very strong uh, meaning. It uh, means that we have to sometime go back and look in our past and look at what was very good in our past. And um, it is a great, time in history now because the African people are able to go back and look in our past and learn about our history, learn about the contribution of our great ancestors all throughout the continent and all over the world wherever they went. It is a great time because now we have Africans who are doing a lot of studies and who are, they are discovering many, many beautiful things and who are able to um, talk about the um, accomplishment and the contribution that our ancestors made to human civilization all over the globe. Uh, we have uh, amazing ability now to make some correction into the history that was taught to us about our ancestors. We have now uh, discovered so many different things and that are giving us so much pride and courage to realize who we are because for too long we were treated as if we didn't have a history, as if African did not uh, contribute uh, to the legacy and to creating uh, what we see today in front of us and we, that we were always behind as if we just didn't take part of, uh, you know, uh, everything marvelous that has happened through the course of our existence for the past 200 years. Uh, so recorded by by uh, you know science so far, uh, and um, it is really for me a great honor to be a student and to have learned in the course of the past I would say about fifteen years of me doing African studies and really connecting with the great ancestors and great masters of African you know, understanding of African history and great teachers such as Ben Yoakanan, such as Professor Small, such as Professor Jeffrey, such as uh, uh, Francis Cress, such as so many others that I cannot cite uh, here, you know, like Lumumba, uh, like, uh, uh, like uh, Thomas Sankara, and so many that I, I, I cannot think of right now, but I, that are in my prayers and in my heart and that are inspiration. Uh, for uh, for me to do my work as a queen and to go all over the world and say it's a time it's a good news it's a good it's a good news because it's a good day it's a new day and uh, not only Africans are able to do that for themselves but we are also able to share it with the world we are also able to put that information forward so that everybody can learn about the legacy and the beautiful contribution of Africa and it's not just so we can know about what we are or what we were in the past. It's to actually know what we are also today. Because our past also determine, you know, um, the heritage that we have accumulated over the thousands of years to be who we are today. And to give us the qualities, the expertise, the wisdom, the knowledge that we have accumulated and to still claim it today and to still understand the quality of the beings we are because we come from great ancestors. So it's really an honor for me that this year I will be coming to Angola uh, and we're going to have the big Sankofa ceremony and conference on the 16th uh, of May 2020 and I will really call everyone uh, who can afford to come and you know we will 
probably propose uh, different accommodations to um, you know, really talk with the organizers to make it uh, as reasonable as possible for people to come to Angola with me and accompany me in this beautiful journey of reuniting uh, our families. Uh, it's so important that the African family is uh, families are reunited because even this uh, is important that we change the way we call each other. Uh, we don't have such thing as tribes and clans and all that stuff. These are a lot of things that uh, were imposed upon us by um, the Europeans because they didn't understand the way uh, and the structure of our, our of our you know different uh, societies. But now we have the right to re-put the name correctly and call each other uh, families again. And um, although we may now be very distant and we may not know each other very well anymore it's time to reunite each other and we are families and uh, my people for instance are called the Bakwaluntu and Bakwaluntu really means the people of Luntu so it's it's the people of Luntu. Luntu was one of our great ancestors. And then Luntu, of course, was related to so many others. And those also have their family that develop and went all over Africa. So we are really one African uh, big family. We just have, um, you know, we've been scattered around for, you know, many reasons of history that I will encourage you to learn about, you know, reading a lot on the Shekanta Diop and Teofilo Benga, uh, those great, uh, you know, um, those great scribe and, and researcher that has come up with so many amazing things about uh, uncovering our past so we can learn a little better and have a better understanding of who we are and what we are capable of doing. Despite the worst condition ever, Africa still thrive and Africa has thrived in so many different ways all over the world. And we have to recognize that it's time now to go back to know who we are, but also to bring it forward to continue being the great contributors of, uh, you know, um, building of civilization. And um, we have to also, you know, take an active role in the, the dialogue uh, about the future of this civilization. Uh, so to my Portuguese uh, speaking people, I am apologizing because I'm also queen in Brazil, but I also want to say a few words in Portuguese. So allow me to read what I wrote. It's not very um, big, but it's, it's, it's just a, a show that I'm making an effort so that you can see uh, what I'm capable of doing and I will continue learning my Portuguese. But this is a little bit what I've uh, wrote, written on my own from the Portuguese. I'm already starting to learn <laughs> so that when I come to Angola and the next time I go to Brazil, I can speak Portuguese better with um, our people there, my brothers and sisters. So this is what I wrote. Hola a todos em Angola. Eu sou a rainha Diambi do Congo Kinshasa e do Brasil. Tenho a honra, 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 sorry, tenho a honra de visitar a bela Angola em maio. Tem, temos que unir nossas famílias ancestrais de África e de todo o mundo. Eu te envio meu amor e me, uh, eu me uh, bençaos. <laughs> So please forgive me, pardona me, if my, my Portuguese is not on point yet, but I'm working on it and I want to um, just let you know that I am going to make all the efforts possible to connect with you and to be present and to meet with our traditional leaders in Angola, to meet with my sister's queen in Angola and to celebrate uh, Sankofa to celebrate that it's time to go back and come back with our treasures and to use them to propulse Africa and the world into a new direction. I love you all. See you soon. Queen Diambi.